Welcome to Project Online for Administrators. The introduction of Project Online brings the many features and capabilities of Project Server into Office 365. Microsoft has made it even easier for organizations to take advantage of project and resource centralization and analysis, along with collaboration, schedule, and task management. With Project Online, Microsoft brings these powerful enterprise capabilities to the cloud, available anytime on multiple devices. My name is Leon Gallegos, and I will be your instructor for this course. I have been working as a consultant and trainer with Project Server since its very early days when it was first released. And I've had the pleasure of working with companies worldwide deploying Project Server and now Project Online. In this course, we will be covering 12 modules designed specifically for Project Online administrators. We will discuss what is Project Online as it relates to Office 365 and get an overview of the Project Online interface and discuss the role of the administrator. Those topics will be covered in Module 1. In Module 2, we will look at deployment challenges and the concept of the EPM maturity model, or EPM3. In Module 3, we discuss administering PWA, which includes provisioning the project web app and understanding site collections within Office 365. Module 4 will cover creating and managing enterprise fields and calendars. This includes working with lookup tables, the department field, and RBS. Lifecycle and portfolio management will be covered in Module 5. We'll focus on building project detail pages and working with enterprise project types, as well as the role of workflow. We will also learn about adding and managing users and resources and working with the enterprise resource pool. We'll cover that in Module 6. Creating and managing views and Excel reports will likely be the responsibility of the Project Online Administrator. That will be covered in Module 7. We'll also go into maintaining PWA, which includes importing and saving templates deleting projects, and queue management. We'll cover that in Module 8. Module 9 covers task and time management. This includes configuring tracking methods and setting up timesheets. Module 10 is an important module because it covers multiple topics around security, including SharePoint and project server security models and good practices around both approaches. We will learn about project sites and how to update and modify site templates as they relate to PWA. We'll do that in Module 11. Module 12 will go into reports and working with Power BI. We'll learn how to use the built-in reports, save copies of those reports, and using content packs within Power BI and making modifications to those dashboards. We look forward to having you in this class and we're excited about the opportunity to teach you Project Online as an administrator. Survive.